No, it's it. Go. You, can you ready? Okay. So, what I want to talk about is the ski areas continuing, I guess, protocol on concussion. And they're getting more and more and more adamant. In fact, now with the kids, if they're suspected that they have a concussion, they get in a sled. No questions asked. So, similar to years past, and probably the best way to go about this, since this is a unique group that's always in denial about this kind of stuff, if you get slammed hard, if you are showing obvious symptoms, in our opinion, of a concussion, if the group all concurs, you hit too hard. That's Did where we Arnica? changed last night. Um, I, the, the Arnica all died, it's gone. So we have no more Arnica. But um, they are pretty serious about that. They are asking people that if you have potentially received a concussion, that you get in a sled to go down and get, get checked. Yes. That's the big change. Sorry. I know. Um, it's, it's getting to what they're finding more and more is, you know, not necessarily, I mean, yes, there's always probably a small chance if you get another concussion on the way down of, of death, but it's a, it's a small chance. The problem is they're finding about um, permanent injuries, that if you smack your head again soon, they're, they're, they're just finding people don't come out of it. Now, we're not necessarily going to bust your chops about the normal things if you're to the age where you don't, you didn't remember what day it was coming into the class, and you still don't remember now. <laughs> So we but, have the Alzheimer's exception. But um, the group can tell when you've when you've slammed your cell, when you've slammed hard, and everybody knows they're they are asking. And I mean, with the kids, actually, we legally make them get in a in a sled. So we just are asking everybody to work. Bear with, with us. us. Work with us. I know. Well, Sean and Marianne, Marianne had their dog. It was Cricket was a guardian. But uh, they, they are asking um, that, that you get in a sled and go get checked out this year. Um, and it's, it's a serious deal. It is a big deal. Um, <laughs> if we find you passed out, you're going down in the sled. If you, <laughs> that's the change this year. And I mean, honestly, you know, say we have a situation where the class is over, but you find somebody in the class, I don't see why we don't do the same thing. I mean, in that situation... Well, I don't know if we would have taken it. They really want to see, they want to see people in the, in the patrol room and they want you to ride down on the sled. Um, Good news, I made reservations for lunch upstairs balcony house for Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a table for the season. No! Oh, yes. Cool. Oh my God! They, the upstairs is now our clubhouse. It's the comp center. It might be, and there might be some times where we don't get it, but they asked us if you want to use the comp center clubhouse which is upstairs balcony house. So I don't know how well it's going to be enforced, but it's not really a public area anymore. Oh, cool. And I said, you know, I don't want my group in the lunchroom. I, I don't want them. Yes, my group is 50 to 70. But, but the thing is, though, just so you know, just so you know, we cannot kick people out of there if they're guests. You have to be friendly and just say, yeah. this is a clubhouse, but you know we have to be cool to guests as well. But they appreciated me coming in. We've got upstairs. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, I don't know, Man, but great. I said, can we have a table? So if they're touching, that's still one big table. If it's three tables, it's still one big table. Yes. All righty.